Welcome to News West 9's West Texas View with Johnny Lou Avery. Welcome to the West Texas View. I'm Johnny Lou Avery, and it's going to be a fun, fun program today because we're going to be talking about the Midland Rockhounds. And you're going to meet Monty Hoffel, who is the general manager of the Midland Rockhounds, and Brian Smith, who's the director of public relations. And over the next two Sundays, we're going to be introducing to you a lot of the aspects of the Midland Rockhounds that you might not know about, particularly some of our new residents in the community and in the, in the area. And a lot of you don't know that people come from all over the Permian Basin or they come off the highway just to go to a Midland Rockhounds game. So this is going to be a fun program and we hope you will enjoy it and give us some good feedback about it. But in the meantime, let me introduce to you Monty Hoffel, who is the General Manager, and Brian Smith, who's the Director of Public Relations. And before we start and get into the meat of this, I want you to tell me a little bit about yourselves and, and how you got to the Midland Rockhounds. And let's start with you, Monty. Okay, sure, great. It's, it's good to be here. I, um, I came to Midland 23 years ago. Um, uh, and I was in Tucson working for a AAA team of the Astros, so I got a chance to see Ken Camiotti and Craig Biggio and some of the, wow. the players come through. So, and when I first got off for the job here, I said, "Where is Midland?" And um, <laughs> but um, the first time we I hear came, that a lot. <laughs> yeah. So the first time I came through, I, I, I immediately got a great feel for the ballpark, and um, first thing I noticed is how friendly West Texas people mm -hmm. were. And it didn't take me long to say, yes, I will um, take the general manager job. And that was back in 1989. And um, so wow. I, had, I, I went to school in Spokane, Washington, and worked for the Spokane Indians baseball team. And that team had the same ownership as the Tucson team. And when I got to Tucson, that had the same ownership of the Midland team. So that's how I got to Midland is um, the, the gentleman that owned uh -huh. the, the Tucson team had the Midland team. He said, when the general manager job comes open in Midland, I'll move you there. Cause, um, so that's, that's kind of how I, I got here. And, and uh, I just found the community so great and the su support for sports and baseball and, and even all sports so so fantastic that I'm here 23 yes. years later. Oh. <laughs> well, and, and the, and the uh, stadium is, is wonderful, isn't it? It is. I mean, in minor league baseball now, we'll talk about here in a little bit, all the stadiums are, are first rate now. Uh -huh. um, minor league baseball has really changed. For the affiliated teams, it's really changed. There's a lot of independent teams that the stadiums aren't so great because they don't have to follow Major League Baseball guidelines, but we're mm -hmm. affiliated with Major League Baseball, so we got to follow their guidelines. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. Well, Brian, let's hear a little bit about you. <laughs> well, I grew up in Dallas and uh, went to school down in Austin at the well, University of Texas. Well, at least you're a Texan. Exactly. A Texan. <laughs> <laughs> so I was down in Austin, uh, was on the dive team there, and when, I'd, when we were growing up, we had big meets out here over at the COM yeah, Aquatic Center, right. and so I'd come to Rockhounds games growing up, always had a great time. And then when I went to the winter meetings and had the chance to interview with the club, I just knew that it was going to be a great fit. I got to stay in Texas. I was familiar with the team. And since I've been here, this will be my third season now. And it's been a dream getting to come to the ballpark. And, and so day. you uh, you almost had divine guidance all the way back to when you were younger to, <laughs> to make it to here. Absolutely. So, it's so, all been in plan since I was nine. You, you know, we <laughs> like to say in the Permian Basin that all roads lead through the Permian Basin to get to anywhere else. So we're glad <laughs> that y'all are here. Absolutely. With and, and we're glad that, you're, that you stuck around for a long, long time. We always tell everybody, stay here a year and you'll love it and you'll never want to live <laughs> anywhere else. Yeah, the springs <laughs> are tough. The winds start hitting now. That's about the only thing. But other than that, it's just a great community. Uh, well, it carries the baseball pretty good, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> I mean, we're, we're one of the best secrets. It's not so much a secret anymore because attendance has been so, so good. Uh -huh. Well, I want, us to, I want us to talk about a lot of aspects of, of running a team, uh, of, of all of the fun things that are surrounding a team over the next two days. Okay. And, and so I want us to start out with you're just giving us kind of a, a brief explanation of major of uh, professional baseball at this level and also the history of this club okay sure um in, as i mentioned earlier affiliated baseball with major league baseball we're one of um, 30 teams that are affiliated with with major league baseball uh -huh. and um, each major league baseball team has five or six affiliations it starts at triple a double a long a single a rookie and we are in the double a level which is the best level 
that's, that's pretty well known because that's where the prospects are. And mm -hmm. if you get to double A, a lot of these players are going to get to the major leagues. Uh -huh. So we're in well, this. So is this what used to be called a farm team? Yeah, we are still the farm team. <laughs> okay. And we are the farm team of the Oakland A's now. Okay. Um, but we're one of the, 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 the communities that have affiliated baseball with Major League Baseball. There's a lot of communities that used to have affiliated baseball. And there's some that wish they were affiliated with Major League Baseball, but they're just not going to get an affiliation because there's only a select few. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of communities in Texas that are bigger than we are, Lubbock, Amarillo, and a, a number of throughout the state. Beaumont used to have a team, Fort Worth used to have a team, and here we are, Midland, who's not the biggest community. Uh -huh. um, we have an affiliated team after 41 years for a number of reasons. The community has stepped up, um, but so that's a feather in our cap. If we try to get a minor league baseball affiliated team today and Midland didn't have a team, they wouldn't get one because they'd say the community's too small. Uh -huh. So, um, you know, over the years, uh, back to 1972, when the Cubs owned the team, they put their double A team in Midland and the major league team owned the minor league team. Well, sure enough, over time, most major league teams um, sold their minor league teams and now there's independent minor league owners that own the team. So uh, and just over time, from the, we were affiliated with the Cubs, and then we changed to the Angels, and now we're with the Oakland A's. And um, you know, it's just fantastic now, after 41 years, we're still affiliated. And because we built this stadium and meet all the major league guidelines now, um, we're gonna have affiliated baseball for a long time. We, we signed a long lease with the city of Midland, so and when people say, well, how is there a double-A team in Midland, and how are you breaking these attendance records, and why are you doing so well? Well, it's a great sports community, and we've got a great staff, and here we are 41 years later, and we're, we're having success. But also, I think a lot of it has to do that the whole Permian Basin comes True. into this, and so you think, oh, well, the Midland Odessa population isn't that big, right. but then when you take in, and they don't have that many other places to to go, right. <laughs> and so, so then they really, really support it all over the Permian Basin. That's correct. I mean, we are our market is you know all the way to Hobbs, the Big Springs, San Angelo, Lubbock, and the Permian Basin. And even if you add all that um, population, it's still one of the smaller Double A's because there's some big markets uh -huh. that have Double A baseball. And so, we're we're just fortunate that um, we've had support over the years, and we're here after 41 years. We're going to have many more years to come. And uh, we, we just got a great ownership. Um, I talk about that a little bit. Two gentlemen bought the team um, a year after I got here, and their commitment is to keep the team here. They had some offers way back to move the team, and then a bigger stadium would be built, and you, it would m be moved to a bigger community. But they, they didn't want to be known for moving the team uh -huh. and having that reputation. They said, hey, will it work in Midland? I said, I definitely believe so. It's a great sports community, and we put, built the staff. I mean, Brian's one of those key members of the staff. We, I think we have about eight people that have been here 15 years or more, and Good. we've just set our roots here, and we've proved that even though it's small, it's a great baseball community. And I want us to talk more about that, but we're going to have to take a break right now. We'll be back in just a minute and continue this program. Stay tuned. West Texas View will be right back. 